Scott Gardner, one of the Boulder County Commissioners, and I'm being joined by other commissioners, Elise Jones and Matt Jones. And we're here today to thank and congratulate all of you uh, in Boulder County, that organizations in the tier three group of the science and cultural funding district uh, on your award this year. Uh, we know this has been a really tough year and the, um, and this award is really going to make a difference for all of you. Uh, but we just mostly wanted to say how much we appreciate everything you do for our community in being able to still continue in some ways, mostly probably virtually, be able to present performances and give an opportunity for the community to get together. I'm downtown on Longmont, on Main Street in Longmont, uh, celebrating the Longmont Museum, which I believe is a, a tier two organization, but it exemplifies what we're trying to do and still keep the arts and sciences and culture and um, going in Boulder County. So. Thank you everyone for all you've done and are gonna to continue to do for our culture. Take it away, Elise. Thanks, Deb. As was said, I'm Elise Jones and I really just wanna second everything Deb just said. We know this has been such a challenging year and we're really proud of the work that you are doing, the resiliency, the innovation that so many have you have shown in really weathering this, this really tough, tough year. And we're particularly pleased to know that so many of you were able to figure out how to make your work virtual and to continue with online programming. There's been so many really cool examples of wonderful work. Things that come to mind are like the return of drive-in movies so that people get a chance to actually leave their homes and partake in socially distanced culture again, like the Boulder International Film Festival's Drive-In in North Boulder or Modus Theater, helping to facilitate community, community dialogue using theatrical conversations online so that we're, we're hearing about important issues on immigration and law enforcement and DACA. And it's just exciting to see how you all are flourishing in these so tough conditions. And keep the faith, the faith that once we're through this horrible pandemic that It'll be arts and cultural that will help bring back our sense of community, bring back the joy and the beauty um, that we are all craving so much. So um, thank you, congratulations, and know that we're behind you 100%. Matt? Thanks, Elise. Uh, I'm Commissioner Matt Jones, and I echo what Deb and Elise have just said. We also want to make sure that we thank our 10 Boulder County Cultural Council Advisory Board members and our staff liaison who put in tremendous work uh, this year to review and grant applications, making recommendations to us, the county commissioners, and for future and for, for funding, and doing that in a tough environment. Uh, they do a great job, great criteria, treating everybody uh, equally and fairly. Uh, and without their tireless contributions, we wouldn't be able to make this money available to you. Also, while the total amount distributed this year, about $854,000, was down almost $100,000 from last year due to COVID-19, it still represents a significant amount of money that goes a long way towards funding our local cultural science, scientific organizations, especially in these tough times. As the other commissioners have said, we care about and appreciate the culture, creativity, and relevance you bring to the community, and we wish you all the best in the year ahead. Congratulations, Boulder County organizations. Incredibly proud of all the work you've done. And we look forward to the programs and the amazingness that you do bringing this community together and all the residents of Boulder County and beyond. Thank you so much for your contributions. Hi, this is Alita Sherman. I'm the chair of the Boulder County Cultural Council. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that um, applied for tier three grants it went through the whole process in this crazy year you know not knowing what would happen and um all the uh i don't know really challenging times uh that the last six months has brought us i know that i so appreciate everything you do and enjoy looking at the applications and knowing what you're up to 
and um, hope that next year will be better. Anyway, I just wanted to thank every last one of you.